So now onto the computer power supply. The purpose of the computer power supply is to provide reliable controlled voltages to power each of the components inside your computer. The, com the power supply primarily connects to your motherboard to power its components, but it also has direct connections to the CPU and the graphics card in most gaming computers. So let's have a look in what's in the box of our power supply. Inside, we've got warranty and user manuals. Now, as this is a modular power supply, um, oh, here we've got some cable ties. But in here, we've actually got all of the power cables that connect into the PSU itself. Uh, if you bought a non-modular power supply, these cables would be hardwired into the power supply itself. We've got a power cord from the wall to the power supply, um, which will change depending on your country of origin. And we have the power supply itself. On the back of the power supply here, we've got our power in, we've got our power isolation switch, our fan, and on the front here, we actually have our minimum um, power connectors hardwired into the power supply itself. So we've got our 24 pin motherboard connector and our eight pin CPU power connector. As this is a modular power supply, uh, the additional cables to power the graphics card and other external or internal SSDs and hard drives uh, are optional and you can connect them into the power supply as you wish. So the physical size of a power supply. Now a significant number of power supplies are manufactured to a standard known as PS2, uh, which for any normal office or gaming computer will generally be manufactured to this size. Um, if you're going for a portable application or a high power application, the power supply might be larger or smaller to suit, uh, but generally for most office and gaming computers, uh, it will be of the PS2 size. Uh, so just a quick recommendation if you need to, uh, just check uh, your power supply size when you purchase it and make sure it's compatible with the case that you've chosen. So the power supply wattage. We tend to find many people overrate their power supply unit, which is fine if you have additional expansion in mind. But where you're planning on not expanding, use an online calculator from a number of manufacturer websites to see what is best. And also so you can save money for other items like your RAM or GPU, or improve the quality of the power supply that you've purchased. Even for this computer being built, which has a very high-end graphics card, a 550 to 650 watt supply is acceptable with a 10% buffer for any further expansion. Most gaming PCs are fine with a 450 watt to 550 watt power supply if only using one discrete graphics card, but perhaps use 700 watts if you're using two discrete graphics cards in SLI or Crossfire configuration. So after you've decided on the wattage required of your power supply, you also need to decide on the quality and the efficiency of your power supply chosen. Generally, we recommend staying with reputable manufacturers, um, choosing an 80 plus certification, and as well, just read the reviews online and check that the power supply that you're looking to buy has good positive reviews over a long enough time frame. We recommend choosing a high quality power supply as it's the only thing standing between good clean power for your computer and potential issues such as power offs and brownouts or just the computer power cycling at unknown times due to an unreliable or fluctuating power supply. So the power supply market has a voluntary certification program known as 80 plus, which in simple terms tests and certifies that power supplies have over 80% efficiency at certain loads, ensuring that the supplies are engineered well and they convert as much power into the unit to usable power in place of electrical losses and heat. Now, there are multiple levels of this certification, but any supply wearing this badge will at least be designed to be efficient and with good principles to meet the certification. It ensures your supply will be engineered with power efficiency in mind, 
will dissipate less heat, which will be more efficient and will also provide uh, less heat into your PC case as well when used. So from the power supply, there's three key power connectors that would be required for any gaming computer. First is your primary motherboard connector. This is a 24 pin connector that connects to your motherboard and provides power to most items connected to your motherboard. The second here is your CPU power connector. Now this is an eight pin power connector that provides power directly from the power supply itself to your CPU. And the third here for any high end graphics card as well is either a six or eight pin power connector of which there is usually two off of any modern power supply. Graphics cards will either accept six or eight pins uh, six pin is a 75 watt power to the graphics card and eight pins is 150 watts. Generally, you will either run uh, the two of these in either six or eight pin or a combination of both. We talk more about power supply mounting and the cables in our build video. So if you'd like to learn more, jump over to our website at easypcbuilder.com where you can download our monthly updated build guides for gaming PCs of various levels office PCs and media PCs, and you can also download our Easy PC Builder Master Course. Thanks for watching.